Hi, my name's Pete Smith, and I'm a forester and an arborist for the Arbor Day Foundation. And we're here to talk today about winter pruning for some of our landscape trees. What we have here is a tree that really has not received a lot of care over the years. So I'm going to use this as a way to talk about some basic rules that you might consider when you get around to pruning the trees in your own home landscape. The first thing we want to do when we're looking at our trees to prune, we want to assess the tree. We want to know what kind of species the tree is. This is a mulberry tree. We want to think about the overall health of the tree because that's going to help us determine how much we can afford to prune off of the tree so that we don't impact its health in a negative way. We also want to think about the setting that this tree is growing in. Is it a street tree? Is it a tree in our yard? Is it a tree near our home that we want to grow straight and tall so it casts shade and saves us energy on our home energy bills? Or is it a tree out in our landscape that we want to grow in a very natural form for that species? The next thing we want to think about are the five factors for form and function. And those five factors include some boundaries for our pruning. The first rule we think about is we want at the end of our pruning that two-thirds of the height of this tree will still have branches and leaves in it. And we want to make sure that there's as many leaves on this tree when we're done to keep it growing at a fast pace. The next rule is that we don't want to remove more than one-third of the total branches from this tree in any one year. The third rule is that we want every branch that's attached to the main trunk to be no more than one half the diameter of the trunk at the point of attachment. Our fourth rule is that we want every pruning cut to only be one inch in diameter. And finally, we only want to make five total cuts in a year. If you follow these rules, and if the tree allows you to follow all five of these rules, what you'll find is that you've made very judicious and reasonable pruning cuts that help develop a strong and healthy tree for the future. So thanks for watching. And remember, if you have questions, please let us know.